So uh, you announced on Friday that you are running. Is that correct? Yes, we were in an exploratory phase. Oh, since about oh start of September, but uh, we're in and very excited that uh, the congressional run is going to have a very short landing. But more importantly, um, why am I running for Congress, and why is Elsie Arnson, a school teacher from Billings, Montana, fourth generation, wants to really throw her hat into the ring? And I can tell you that uh, after seven years being a constitutional officer and being leading uh, public education in the state of Montana, and after 32 years being that office being led by uh, the liberal left, and now a conservative Christian, uh, an individual that uh, puts our Montana families first, that's what I've done for seven years. So I've battled those COVID crazies. I've had a lot of discussions with the union and I have put parents back in the driver's seat. They're not domestic terrorists. They lead our children because government does not own our kids. And very, very uh, excited that under my leadership in Montana, we have two sexes. We have a male and we have a female. So more importantly, we can all agree, I think every single individual in Montana and across America, that America is in crisis. I've been to the border, was there a month ago, and I saw where the wall stopped. And I know we need to have better immigration policies, but more importantly, we've got an invasion. We have women and children that are being sex trafficked across that border. Not only that, I've got a huge amount of illegal drugs, fentanyl, that are affecting families and communities in America, but in Montana as well. The other part is I've got a runaway spending with the federal government. Our Montana families, we balance our budgets at the kitchen table. But right now the federal government is balancing the budget on the backs of our children, our future in Montana. So, you know, I was the very first one in this congressional race to endorse President Trump. And I'm excited to partner with his America First policies. And more importantly th than that, when Elsie Arnson is that congressman from Eastern Montana, is that fourth generation Montanan, that I'm going to make Montana proud in that partnership with Donald Trump. Excellent. I'm really curious. Um... Why Why did you wait until Matt Rosendale now is run for something? That is a great question. It was very ethical for me and my family. As I had said, you know, being married um, and having a family that lives in Montana. My grandkids go to the same elementary schools that I went to and that my daughters went to. It's exceedingly important for me to recognize when the seat is vacated that I would be jumping all in. I have been committed with an exploratory campaign. I've got a great team behind me, um, great opportunity as well, looking at that Eastern Congressional District. But the minute that Congressman Rosendale determined that he was going to run for the Senate, I'm all in. Okay, so I, I, I and I've got to ask, uh, who are you endorsing for, for Senate? Well, you know, that's an interesting, glad you asked that interesting question as well. You're not the first, um, but now you won't be the last either with that. And here's what I'm going to say. I've endorsed President Trump and I have been in the Republican circles and being a conservative uh, for, for uh, a period of time, especially since I've been a constitutional officer at this time. So uh, Matt Rosendale and I are very different looking, but our votes are very similar. I also know that Tim Sheehy has just entered the race. He's a very young man and no one has ever seen or voted from him before. So it's not up to me to do the endorsement. It's up to Montana to really look and understand who these men are uh, for that Senate race. The number one thing is that we must do is we need to make sure that we have a conservative in our Montana uh, United States Senate. 
And so I wish both of them well, and I can definitely applaud that a Montanan and a Republican will be leading the way. Right, and then I'm curious, I mean, do you feel uh, that your your time as the superintendent, I mean, have you have you accomplished everything that you wanted to do? Do you feel like Montana public schools are in a better place since you started that position? Most definitely. Um, I know that the reason why I got into office, I taught public school for 23 years in Billings, and they were in... Uh, poverty areas. They were in areas that, uh, how do I want to say, that government didn't do well there. They were impoverished from the families. There were uh, a lot of issues of where I taught. And what I learned when I also legislated there, because I was a legislator for over a decade. And what does that mean is that when they saw me at their door talking about government and making government better for them, that it was also an opportunity for me to be a better teacher. So in my role in education, I have removed uh, four, I had four buildings when I first got in, and conservatively now I'm down to one. I have given choice to our statewide employees. They live in over a majority of our 56 counties right now. So they're serving schools in a manner of where their families live and where where their community embraces them. Not only that, but we have done all the teaching and learning standards except for one. The first one I did was making sure that civics, that what it is to be a Montanan, to um, embrace our tribal culture, which is part of our constitutional uh, discussion that we must have. In uh, the first one was civics, so that to know what American is from the moment you enter public school to the time that you leave. And I also want to say that I'm very, very proud that we've removed a lot of that wokeism that has come into Montana. You know, I went to the attorney general and uh, asked for an opinion to make sure that white privilege wasn't existing in Montana and making sure then that our public school teachers are valued having an opportunity that our children in Montana have the best teacher to lead them forward and parents are at the table. That was never there before. Perfect. And, and just going back to the endorsement, I saw on your uh, Twitter or X, um, uh, you were at a uh, she, he, Zinke thing or Montana GOP, are you just supporting both? Are you, is that fair to say? Um, you know, I have known Matthew uh, for quite some time. I am just now beginning an understanding of Tim Sheehy. Again, I believe it's up to the voters to endorse. Uh, the election is uh, going to be happening, what, in 100 and 13 days, but really who's counting? And quite frankly, the ballots come out on my birthday. So it's going to be quite a celebration as we move that. But I can definitely tell you, my number one endorsement is President Trump. We need to have a leader in America that is going to be challenging the existing where we are right now. We need better. Montana families deserve better. American families deserve better. And I believe President Trump with his America First agenda is going to lead the way. Not only lead the way for the economy, but let's talk about this congressional district. Energy independence. Think of what we can do when I do get that pipeline that's going to go through those counties in eastern Montana. It's going to enliven the economic value of who we are as a treasure state, as well as impacting families, communities, and our public school systems that are out in Eastern Montana. Well, see, I think that's everything that I needed to do today, but is there anything that maybe I forgot to ask, anything you might want to add? I just want to say that I'm so excited to run for Congress. I believe uh, that I have been given a very positive strength 
on being a solution um, when issues arise. And you can imagine in public education when you're dealing with young children and families and a government school system. I've led the way in that. And I'm very excited to bring that issue of Montana families and education where we've never had that before coming out of anyone that might lead our state with a Republican conference or any conference that we have at the national level. And uh, the, I, I firmly believe that uh, I've got the backing of uh, uh, multiple people across our great state and across our nation to bring that critical issue, the economy and education and how they intertwine together. I couldn't do this without my family. And I'll be saying that um, as long as I possibly can ever do. And the blessings of our great Lord. So thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, just as a quick note, when I'm sworn in in 2025, it'll be 110 years since Montana has sent a woman. And, you know, they sent, uh, they sent a female, but they never sent a mother. And Montana will be sending a grandmother and a mother. Uh, to Washington to really peel back these tough issues and find solutions for all of Montana's families and America's families.